Welcome to Blessed Row Cooks. Today we are going to be making this yummy, delicious Big Texas Patty Melt Burger. I have one pound of 80-20 ground beef that I'm getting ready to season up. And I have the Texas toast with cheese. This is the Texas toast that I'm using. I'm getting ready to put my Texas toast in the oven. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna use some garlic powder. Not too much of it. Not too much of either, any of this because I wanna taste the meat and my vegetables too. And I'm gonna season, put some black pepper on it. And that's about all I want, y'all. I really want the flavor of the meat to come through. And then I'm just gonna go in and mix it up. This is one pound, so one pound, you can make half pound burgers if you want to make two burgers, but I'm gonna, I usually, usually make four or five burgers. And today I'm gonna be making four. Mix it around a little bit. And I usually just mash mine out. Go in like that. Then I get a feel for it. Try to get them kind of even just for feeling. I make my four balls. I have my pan heating up too, y'all. I sit them over there on the plate. Till I finish all of them. Pat it together, press it down. And then I'm pressing, look at my thumb. I'm tucking it in on the side, tuck, tuck, turn, tuck, turn, tuck, tuck, turn, tuck, tuck, turn. And then I get it by the side. I have a burger press. Actually, I have more than one. You can use a cookie cutter for a burger press too if you want to. But I have a burger press, but I'll just, this is quicker and I don't have to wash a burger press. <laughs> so anyway, when I, when I get them like that, I usually put a little dip in the middle because y'all know they swell up. And then that's it. That's how I make it. And we will be back. Y'all, I'm a one-man show, so I wear gloves. It's easy because I'm touching stuff, and I can just take the gloves off, so I have to, but I don't have to, but that is why I wear gloves most of the time. Because most of the time, I'm a one-man show. You got to do what you got to do. But I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Thanks for your... To my new subscribers welcome i thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed and you are a viewer consider subscribing i thought it made that too thin in the middle we'll find out y'all so we got this going i'm giving me a crust on it and you know i'm gonna flip it i got my stove on medium <laughs> so i'll be back we're gonna cook this meat now that my meat is done, I'm going to go ahead and add in some diced onions and diced bell pepper. Y'all, this is not going to be a healthy sandwich. But if you want to stop right here and after you cook your onions and peppers, put you some cheese on your meat and put onions and peppers on it, then you have your good keto slash low carb option. But today we're going to make a sandwich and it's not healthy, but it's delicious. I'm going to tilt this and then I'm going to take these out and put them on a paper towel. After I take these out, I'm going to go ahead and add my meat back in right quick. I let that side get heat on it. We're gonna flip it over. We're 
We're gonna put some cheese. And I'm putting some foil over it and my cheese on it. See that? Perfection! Looks so good. Alright, now we're getting ready to go ahead and assemble our sandwich, y'all. I'll do that. I'm gonna put some mayonnaise on it. So we got cheese, cheese, mayonnaise, meat. Mm. Talk about yummy deliciousness. <laughs> yeah, it looks so good. Don't it look good? Yeah, I know it looks good. But I do like raw onions. So I like to get, put a little bit of raw onions on it too. Yeah. Look at how delicious it looks. It's gooey. Southern cooking is the best. That's one thing we all know. Most comforting meals that everyone will love. Joy and bless throw. Her cooking comes from the good heart. Recipe so good, you just might get hooked. Joy Yummy deliciousness. Look at that, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and give me a like and make a comment. Comment below and let me know how you like this video. If you didn't like it, let me know too. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And remember to always put God first in everything that you do. Turn on your TV screen. Turn on your phone. Turn on your laptop. We're watching Bless Roll. Bless Roll.